Peace everyone. This is Micaiah Luciana, Reiki Master, ordained minister in the way of Archangel Michael. Um, I'm of KeprasBlueLotus.com. And so today I wanted to talk about what is Reiki. And, uh, you know, I'm sure people have heard Reiki, heard, heard the term Reiki mentioned here and there. But I just want to give a, I guess, a technical uh, and a layman's um, definition of what Reiki is. But ultimately, you know, Reiki is a healing technique based on the principle that the practitioner, which would be me, channels energy into the client by the means of touch or not even or no touch to activate the natural healing process of the client's body and restore physical and emotional well-being. So in summary, you know, that is what Reiki is. Um, but ultimately, Reiki is a gift from the Most High. It is healing energy that is of the light. Um, it is healing energy that penetrates the four body systems, which is the physical self, the mental self, emotional self, and the spiritual self. So those are the four components that makes up the 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 whole the the makes up the whole soul or makes up the whole body. You know, we all have those components. And so with Reiki energy, it helps heal those four body systems. And so it's also food for the soul. It's also food for the spirit. And um, one of the questions that I've been asked frequently is, does it conflict with my faith, my belief, you know, my religion? And absolutely not. It does not con conflict none whatsoever. And um, actually, it is an enhancement because we we tend to have a lot of emotional baggage that we hold on to. And so that emotional baggage prevents us from um, evolving. So with the Reiki energy, it helps us to break break up that stagnant energy um, it, and it pushes it out and it helps that flow so that we can truly evolve. And so Reiki is definitely a plus, um, you know, if you're interested in evolving if you're going through a transformation, you know, Reiki is definitely a modality that is beneficial. I know for me, when it comes to Reiki, most time people, when you hear Reiki, you always hear uh, is Yusui Reiki. Yusui Reiki is, I guess, the original Reiki, the first Reiki. And it's very powerful within itself, but I have, in I have gained other forms of Reiki energy to help strengthen the healing process. So I have a system called DNA Healing Reiki, which is a, a, a comprehensive system within itself that help that heals the body on the cellular cellular level, um, through your DNA, and um. You know, our DNA is altered, you know, not only through, you know, generation to generation, it's altered through pollution, you know, it's altered through this GMO food that we're eating. And so with the DNA healing Reiki system, it definitely helps our bodies to get back into the divine order of things. Another form of uh, multidimensional energy that I utilize is sophagio frequencies. So, of course, you know, of course, you can do the research of the sophagio healing frequencies and, you know, frequencies that you listen to that will help heal and heal your heal the different aspects, you know, not only your body, but, you know, emotional self and, um, but with the actual energy, is able to penetrate the healing process even deeper. Um, I also have shungite, uh, multidimensional um, healing energy. You know, and shungite, here's actually here's some shungite stones. You can definitely do the research on shungite. It's very, very powerful stone. 
but now I have the actual energetic of it, which is totally awesome. I really like this system as well. And, um, and that's just to give, give you a few of examples of the different Reiki energies. I have the Sakin healing energy, and um, I have different systems that I utilize for my different clients. Everyone um, needs something different. So I have an array of uh, Reiki healing energies that I can utilize um, for you. And of course, there's so many benefits to Reiki. You know, of course, I mentioned that it heals, heals the four body systems, but it also helps, you know, with sleep. If you have problems sleeping, you know, the Reiki will help relax you and help break up that stagnant energy to help with sleep. It helps with, you know, if you have like mental anguish, anxiety, um, stress, it releases that as well. And because um, I always believe that spiritual issues manifest in the flesh. So whenever we're exhibiting these type, um, any type of physical ailment, emotional ailment, uh, mental ailment, you know, there's something going on in the spirit. We have to learn how to create a synergy within our healing process. And so incorporating Reiki within that synergy will elevate and escalate the healing process. And um, it is definitely well worth it. So this is just a, a brief overview of what Reiki is. And, um, and I just invite you to check me out at KeparusBlueLotus.com. And I definitely put all the details in the description. So give it a try. And because um, it have people have different experiences with Reiki. And um, and it's definitely spiritually healing. Um, it's very motivational. And when you and when it comes to Reiki, I always say to truly understand what Reiki is, you have to experience it. You know, I can read off the sheet of all the benefits. You can go online and do the research and you can read it. You know, you'll get an understanding. But to actually experience it, it would definitely give you a deeper understanding. And uh, and there's nothing to be afraid of. And actually going through um, a Reiki session, when you come out on the other side, you're going to be like, what took me so long? So I definitely invite you to please come and uh, contact us at Kepra's Blue Lotus. So thank you for your time and much continued success to you um, on your healing journey. Peace.